Hi everybody, this is Gardy Raymond from ConsequenceVideoDesigns.com and today I'm going to show you a real quick way to remove uh, some lens dust using Mocha Pro's Remove Module. And this is actually a really simple technique and it goes really quick. So let's jump in. Here I have a clip and you'll see as it plays through there's lens dust on the left hand side might be a little difficult to see let me stop it right here and there's some lens dust right here right here and right here there's a little triangle of it so I scrub back and forth let me play again we got some lens dust in that shot and we really want to get rid of that because it doesn't look good so really easy what we're gonna do is open up Mocha Pro make a new project go in to choose the footage I'll select the David dust clip go to advanced select cache clip go back to options make sure everything's in here frame range is right frame rate is right Mocha does a really good job of interpreting the footage when you bring it in but you just want to double check to make sure everything's right select OK yes wait for it to cash in up here on the right and now that the clips ca cashed in we can play through it again so in Mocha it'll play through and ping pong back and forth and here it gives us a better look at the dust here that we want to get rid of so okay for this clip I think it's going to be easier to start from the end and work backwards. Sometimes it's easier to work from the beginning of the clip, sometimes it's easier from the end. For this one, I think it's just easier to work from the end. So the very first thing we want to do is draw a track mat around the pieces of dust that we want to remove. So we'll go around this first one and then we'll add to this layer using the Add To tool like the second piece of dust. And if you're not sure to get out of this mask, I'm left clicking to start the mask and right clicking to close out of the mask. And we'll rename the layer remove. All right. Now, unlike doing a remove like you may have seen before where the object that you want to remove is actually moving in the frame and you need to track that lens dust is pretty easy because it doesn't move it's stuck on the same place in the frame throughout so when we play through this you'll see this isn't even tracked but it's keeping the area around the lens dust in the same place because the dust isn't moving so we need to uncheck the gear icon so these three pieces don't get tracked if we leave that on when we do the track for the background Mocha is going to attach to all the rest of the pixels in these areas and it's going to drift off of the dust and that's not what we want. So let's go back to the end and create a new area to track the background. Now you want to make sure the area that you track covers up the areas that you want to remove. And also just like doing a regular remove you want to make sure that the background track layer is below the foreground object that you want to remove. Works the same way there. So we'll just rename this BG for background. Now the one thing we're going to have to look out for when we do the track here is this guy on the bicycle, as he comes through he's going to kind of intersect this area and then as the camera pans back to the right, since we're going backwards, the track area is going to drift past where the lens dust is in the shot. So we're going to need to adjust this track as it goes through. So we'll just go back a few frames. Now as he gets close, let's drag this back a little bit. Turn off the magnify window so it's not in the way. And you'll see over here too, it's starting to drift where it's going to not be behind this piece of dust again too. So we want to drag this end out. Now let's track back some more. As the camera starts to move, you'll see this is going to, it does what Mocha does. It attaches to this area and it wants to stay where it is, which is 
great, but for our purposes here, we need to make sure that everything is covered up. So let's drag the track area a little bit farther out and keep tracking back. Drag it out just a little bit more. All right. So as we scroll through, you'll see the three points that we want to remove stay encompassed within the background track the whole time. And now we go to the Remove tab here. We select the layer that we want to remove, which is the Remove layer. And all we need to do is click on the Render Forward button. And as soon as we click on it, check it out. Boom, those three pieces of dust are gone. Now Mocha is going to render through all this. And now that it's rendered through, we can deselect these and we can uncheck the overlays. So now we see these three pieces of dust that were there are gone. If we play through, gone. It's as easy and as fast as that. That's why Mocha is such an amazing program and why I use it and thousands, hundreds of thousands of people all over the place use it all the time. So to get this clip out of Mocha, all we need to do is go to File, Export Rendered Clip. We'll keep the Save Clip information at the top the same. You can export an image sequence if you want. It has all different types of image sequences. But for our use here, QuickTime Movie will be fine. We'll choose where we want to export it to. We'll call it David Clean. The original was David Dust. Click OK. The QuickTime Export settings come up. I'll you can export whatever codecs you have on your computer. I'm going to export ProRes. OK. And now it's exported. Now we can go back to our folder and look at our original with the dust. And then to the one that, that Mocha just rendered out, no dust. Beautiful. So that's it. Quick tutorial today. Hope you learned something. Feel free to ask any questions. My name is Gardner Raymond for ConsequenceVideoDesigns.com. Thanks again for checking it out. We'll see you later.